Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jordi Sunshine and I am happy to have you guys here. Today is a bit more of like a serious pondering kind of one. Um, I have been following like the Zoella scandal that's kind of been happening, like that's kind of been going big on um, media at the moment. Um, obviously this isn't something that I would like normally like delve into, but last night as I was kind of looking at this and kind of watching a few different people's, a few different people's opinions, what they kind of think is going on, and then Zoella's response, I was kind of interested because as I got thinking, uh, I kind of had some thoughts kind of pop into my head and I thought, you know what, why not throw them out there and just throw them into the mix and hopefully it will encourage people to kind of think a little bit differently about this situation. Yeah, let's kind of get into what I'm thinking about. One thing that I'd like to do is to bring in personality typing into this. Obviously, one of my last videos, I did like a really quick overview of the MBTI personality type. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then go over and watch that video to kind of like see where I'm kind of like building this kind of thing up. By no means am I, an, am I an expert in personalities and psychology or anything like that. It's just something that I have passionately pursued myself and kind of like self-taught through different websites and different books. Um, about personality typing. Let's kind of go into where my thoughts have kind of gone with this. If anyone's not aware of the situation, basically this is the deal that's happened. Um, Zoella and Zoella's team basically created a, an advent calendar for Christmas. There's been a lot of upset about the price it was, about it being too dear, and the content that was actually in the advent calendar not necessarily matching up to the 50 pounds that it was priced at. Zoella has come back and also said that she had no control over the situation of the pricing. It's completely out of her hands, she's the creator behind it. But once the creative process and the part of it actually being made physically, once that's all done, the business side, if you want to put it, goes to the retailers and obviously the other another part of her team, which she doesn't really have anything to do with or any involvement with. So let's go back to the personality types. There are a few things in the MBTI profiles that when I look at Zoella, I can kind of work things out just by what I know of her through her videos, through her social media um, outlets. Obviously the big one that stands out to me is the way that she makes her decisions. Um, and in the personality type, you've got two things. You've got a thinker, which is very logical, um, and you've got a feeler, which again is based on the impact on people. If anyone has been following Zoella on her social media networks, you will find out that she is obviously a big F. She loves her subscribers, and she genuinely cares how people feel and the, the reaction and response that, that she receives from what she does. So for me, you can see that in the amount of empathy and care she has towards other people. In you know her videos, you can see that when she's preparing her guest bedroom for her friends. Um, you see how much care and love she puts into the little details that she knows her friends would appreciate. And then her reaction to them reacting to the little things and care that she's put into getting her room ready. So obviously she cares a lot about how people feel and how she makes people feel. For me obviously that is a big indicator of where all of this is kind of stemmed from. The next one that I kind of want to look at is the way that she acts to the outer world. Is she a judger? Is she someone that enjoys the closure of a project? Um, or is she a perceiver who enjoys the process? Going through her creative outworking and outlet through her product, I feel like she's a bit more of a perceiver. Um, she enjoys the process, the creativity, the way that you get it done. The closing, I mean everyone enjoys the closing and like a finished product. But I think for her, the creative side and the making it happen is what really drives her. So I kind of feel like she enjoys the process more than necessarily the closing. The next two are a little bit more tricky. Obviously, I can only go on how she interacts with her friends on camera and how she interacts with her subscribers through the camera. Obviously, working out whether she's an extrovert or an introvert is a little tricky because 
Talking to a camera as an introvert, you could be really animated, but as soon as you get in front of someone, that's when you kind of like shrink back into yourself and become a little bit more shy. Being an extrovert, extroverts like feed off people energy. If you're sitting in front of a camera and you don't have anyone there, you can seem a lot more shy and reserved, but then once you get in front of people, that's when your energy really just sparks out. So this one is a tricky one to figure out because Zoella is really good in front of a camera just by herself, but then when she has friends with her, then she really kind of interacts really well there as well. And it might just be that she's really comfortable with those people, which is kind of what I'm leaning more towards. Because in a few of her videos, she has talked about how she likes collaborating with friends or people that she's really comfortable with because she doesn't feel awkward and she can really be herself with those people. So obviously people that she's uncomfortable with, which kind of seems to be a little bit more of an introverted trait. Extroverts can be a little bit more easier to interact with someone who's not necessarily uh, a long-standing friend or a colleague or someone that they've known for very long but they can kind of just like be who they are gregacious or or energized with a complete stranger so for me I'm kind of leaning towards more of an introvert the last one I'm a little bit stumped with you've got a sensate or someone who's intuitive a sensate is someone who deals with the specifics and an intuitive person is a big picture person that one I'm kind of pretty stumped with because it's one that you kind of have to do with a lot of personal interaction with the person. Like if I'm with a friend, I can work through the profile without really having them have to answer questions or, or explain stuff. But being on video and camera, you can sometimes put on a persona that's not necessarily the real you. There are different aspects of your personality that don't really get to shine through while on a camera. So that one, we're kind of a bit of a stumped with. With that in mind, what I think, Zoella is either an ISFP or an INF. So as an ISFP, ISFPs tend to avoid confrontation or fights at all costs, even to the point where they would basically completely withdraw from someone because they don't want to have anything to do with any confrontation or awkwardness or anything. And INFP, again, is one that doesn't want to rock the boat and they won't necessarily withdraw themselves from you, but emotionally they would withdraw from you. Even though internally they have a lot of emotions going on, they just won't necessarily display that externally. And for me that's kind of what I pick up with Zoella. I think she holds a lot of things inside, but she has a lot of close friends and she's obviously got Al, her boyfriend Alfie who she you know, can bounce things off and kind of talk through her emotions with, as well as her therapist as well. One thing I really want to pick up and kind of throw out to everyone in this situation is that she's not an aggressive person. She's not someone who will force her opinion on people for her own benefit and for her own position. I think that she would be a lot more forceful and aggressive in that sense if it had to do with her friends. Um, like I think if Mark um, Ferris or Tanya Burr was in the situation that she was in or they felt uncomfortable in the situation that they were put in she would stand for them and she would be very um, outspoken in the protection of her friends and her loved ones but I kind of get the sense that she is happy to kind of just go with the flow and this is where I think the problem has kind of come in in this situation from what I picked up. We can see that Zoella loves making her videos and it's a passion of hers, but she also loves sharing it with people. She loves her subscribers, she loves the people that she gets to see with the meet and greets. That is who she is, that's what drives her and that's where her real passion and heart really resides in. But then you've got the second part, which is she is secondly a business person. Um, obviously she's got her brand and her products, which she's also passionate about because she's a very creatively minded person. But as she's gotten bigger, she's got a team to help her deal with all of the nitty gritty stuff that she doesn't necessarily know or really want to be involved with or get involved with. The business people that are in her team helping like kind of drive her brand business wise, they're interested in sales and increase of sales. And hence, I think that's where this problem might have happened is that they're, they're pursuing something which is not necessarily Zoella's passion, like she's not money driven, she's not money hungry, she's very passive in the pursuit of money. It happens, it's a brand, it's a business for her, it's her job, yes she needs to get paid and she understands that, but for her, her joy is not the money, her joy is 
the people that she gets to uh, affect with this and the people that she gets to share her life with and share life with. So in this sense, this is where I feel like she's gotten the most slack for. It's that secondary part of her YouTube career, which is the business side, which I feel is not her passion. And that's where she's hit the most slack from because the business side uh, and the business team are pursuing this and even though their desire is to really make the Zoella brand something profitable, I feel that they basically shot themselves in the foot with this situation. But unfortunately Zoella, who is the face of the brand and it is her name as the branding, everyone has a problem with the brand, they turn it back to her and she kind of gets the brunt of the disappointment and anger that comes with disappointment in a product. So for her benefit, I do hope that this blows over. Not that it should be swept under the carpet, because again, it is something important. I think it's an important thing for, for Zoella personally to, to grow through this, but I also think it's it's a good thing for, for her subscribers, and especially her young subscribers that do get influenced. I think it's, it's a good growing curve for them to also see and understand that, hey, Zoella, as much as she cares for you, there is a bigger team behind Zoella that they may not necessarily have people's best intentions in hand. Their main priority is growing the Zoella brand. And there's costs that are involved with that and things that you have to compromise with. You know, thankfully in Zoella's response, she sees that it was a compromise and she hopes that the people involved in this situation, who might not have put her viewers first, have seen the error of what their ways kind of have brought to the brand and to Zoella personally and I kind of feel like that's a good thing. I really hope that Zoella can kind of take this and grow uh, and move on from it because obviously it is it is a hard situation to work through and go through. No one really wants to receive the kind of backlash that she's receiving. So for her benefit, I hope that I hope that her fan base can really progress and move on from this. And it is something that people grow from. Negativity and hatred is not something that people want to really uh, bring into your life or the life of others. Um, and I know for Zoella, she really hopes that this doesn't negatively affect her relationship with her fans and the subscribers to her channel. Obviously because she cares for them all. Um, and that's really nice. So that's my two cents worth. I hope you guys enjoyed the slightly different aspect of the situation that I've kind of been thinking about. It's just kind of looking at Zoella's personality and seeing that there are aspects of YouTube in, in the business format that sometimes you you make mistakes. Um, and but, and hopefully we learn from it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. That's all from me today. This is kind of another one of those kind of like real talk ones. If you guys want to hear more of these real talks, then let me know in the comments. If it's something that you guys want to kind of hear more of, I'd be interested to hear your guys' opinions and thoughts also on the situation. That's all from me today. I hope you guys have a great day. Hopefully the sun is shining wherever you guys are, and I hope you guys enjoy your day. See ya, bye.